Hello everyone, welcome to PyLearning. In today's video, we are going to discuss layers in AWS Lambda, especially how we can manage our Python libraries better using the layers functionality in AWS Lambda. Now, before we get started, the first question is, why do we even need layers? The answer lies in the disadvantages with AWS Lambda deployment packages. Of course, AWS Lambda deployment packages has its own advantages. It allows us to include Python libraries that are not present in the AWS environment. However, there are also certain disadvantages to AWS Lambda deployment packages. Let's go through them and let's understand how AWS Lambda layers can help us solve these kind of dependencies. Let's say I'm building an AWS Lambda deployment package which needs library like NumPy, Pandas, Requests, Pillow, everything, you know? This is what a normal deployment package library looks like. These are the contents that you have to zip and then add it or upload it to AWS Lambda. Can you see how messed up this is? I mean, it is so difficult to even find the handler function there. Now, when you upload it to AWS Lambda, you will see that you cannot edit the code in line. Why? Because the folder or the zip file is 41 MB large. If you want to edit the code in line, you have to keep it within 10 MB. Do you see how much time you have to waste every, th every time your AWS Lambda fails? You have to go back to your code editor, change the code there, create the deployment package again, and then re-upload it to AWS Lambda. I mean, that is just waste of time. Wouldn't it be just easier if you can reduce the size of this deployment package and always edit our code in line? Or in fact, wouldn't it be just easier if we can stop making AWS Lambda deployment package and directly create our code in, uh, in the AWS Lambda console and import our libraries directly? Second thing, let's say you are building 20, 30 different Lambda functions for different problems. And let's say all those Lambda functions have some common libraries. For example, you are using pandas in each of those libraries. You are using numpy in each of those libraries. You are using requests in each of those libraries. Are you going to pip install that library to that folder and upload it to as a deployment package to AWS Lambda for every function? I mean, that's not reusability. We are not reusing the libraries that we are uploading to AWS Lambda. These are the two scenarios where layers in AWS Lambda are of huge help. You can not only edit your code in line, but also you can reuse the libraries that you have already uploaded to AWS Lambda. That way, you don't have to worry about building a deployment package from scratch and all you have to worry about is writing your code. So let's go ahead and learn about building layers in AWS Lambda. So let's go ahead and create our zip file for the request library. So here, I'm going to create a folder called as Python. So I can say mk dot Python. And now we have a folder called as Python. And now I will go inside the folder. And here, I'm going to do pip3 install. Basically the usual process that you do to install a library, but in this case, we are going to download all the request library files into this folder. So here I can say pip3 install requests dash t dot. So this will install all the request uh, uh, library files into this folder. So now let's go ahead and check uh, in our documents. We should have a folder called as Python that we created here. And then inside it, we, we have all the dependencies required for running the request library. So now all, all we have to do is zip this folder and upload it to the layers in AWS Lambda. So here I can go ahead and compress this python.zip and now let's go to our Lambda uh, function layers. Here I'm going to create a layer, create layer and then call it requests and um, uh, what we installed is 2.21 so let's go ahead and mention that here as well might be useful so request 221 description this is the request library and then upload a zip file so now let's go ahead and upload this python.zip to the layers 
Now we have to choose the compatible runtimes. So basically you can choose which runtimes is this request library compatible with. Ideally it should be compatible with all the Python uh, runtimes that are available in AWS Lambda. I will choose Python 3.6, Python 3.7 because I'm only interested to work with Python 3. So now let's go ahead and create our layers. So our request layer has been successfully created. Now let's go back to the function. So here let's go ahead and create a new function. I'm going to call it requests trial and then in the runtime I'll choose Python 3.6 uh, permissions. Let's go ahead with the basic permission and create the function. Once the function has been created, you can see the AWS Lambda function uh, console and here we have a basic uh, code already available. Let's go ahead and also import request. We don't have to do anything. I'm just showing you how the layers is going to help uh, read the request library. So now here under the request trial, you will see something called as layers. Now click on it and then we are going to add a layer. So now select. So we basically added this request 221 layers, select this and then version one because we have only added it once and then save it. So now we have added the request library through our layers. Now we don't need to add the request dependencies in our deployment packages and we can easily import request and start doing stuff with it. So for now, when if I run the test, test and let's call it trial. When I run this, let's press test. And now you can see it is successful. So it is basically running successfully. Let's say we remove this trial, remove, save, and then we go back here and we test it again. It will fail. So it says no module name request. So either you add all the request dependencies in your deployment package and upload it here, which like I mentioned is going to be a big mess. And then also it does not allow reusability or you can upload the request library or any such libraries that you want that are not available in the AWS environment through the layers and directly add those libraries here and then you can use easily use them in your code and most importantly you can change the code you can build your code right in the console that way you don't have to waste time every time your code fails to go back to your uh, local environment change it there create a deployment package again and upload it again you know what i mean so this is the basic advantage of using aws lambda layers i hope you like this video and i hope that you are going to use layers in your aws lambda functions in the future if you have any doubt make sure to put them in your comment section and also don't forget to share and like this video i will see you next time